Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. If you're wondering why I didn't have a backup save file for the whole I accidentally did not press the camera button all the way in thing, it's because you can't copy save files in this game. <laughs> anyway, let's get level 5-2 started. Here we go, and hopefully this will be a lot better than the last part. <laughs> I'm gonna skip this hole here and go off, go off a little further to see what's here. It's just a star. Just a star. By the way, this music is very awesome and bouncy. Oh, those uh, green enemies that fire you out, they're, well, they're, they're on the enemy card list, but they're not really actually enemies, but they're called Zebons. I don't know why they're on the enemy card list, but then again, there's a lot of quote-unquote enemies that are on the enemy card list, or, and yeah, and there aren't enemies whatsoever. Be on the lookout for any kind of crystal shard, like, down underneath platforms and stuff like that in this one, because I believe there is one in here like that, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Unless I'm thinking of another level, which is always a possibility. And I'm gonna combine these two because I want to have some ninja stars and I actually aimed that for Kiki there, but Kiki is always in the background. She is never giving you issues whatsoever. <laughs> and you, I don't think you need any specific power in this level either, so don't worry about that. Uh, oh wait, here we go. Get down here. Oh no wait, this isn't the spot that has the crystal shard curses! I just seen that there's a Oh wait, this is the one! Never mind. <laughs> I just seen that there was a, sur a surface below here, as you can see through the hole. And yeah, and I dropped down there to check if there was something in there. There was! Aha! Blade for blade, only mine explodes. The explosive ones are the victors. Only yours boomerang and could be deadly in certain cases like that. Uh, you'll notice that there is a current below you like this. Yeah, it makes you float up when you press the jump button in midair like that. It's it's just a little bit of air. No big deal whatsoever. I just thought I would make a mention of that since you can tell that there's some sort of current going on. And... Ah, uh, this is a classic tune, I have to say. So catchy, it's... Yet so explosive. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's just enemies blowing up in my face, and it's a boss. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought it was a boss going in here. But I'm just going inside the clouds. So I'm gonna skip you. I want to see what's over on this side. Nothing but a wall and some ice crystals. I'm I'm presuming that these are ice crystals because we, you know, we're up in the clouds and whatnot. And we. By the way, these uh. Those fish enemies there are called fish bones, and uh, I never know, I, not, I never said their name before. Whoops! Uh, these Zebons are like barrel cannons in Donkey Kong Country. You have pressed the jump button to stop wherever they're pointing, and you'll fire in that direction. And I'd like to go in all the directions before I go straight up to make progress, just to show you what they're like. <laughs> so that's why I am not doing anything else whatsoever. Oh, I forgot there was, a, there was a shard there. How could I forget that? That's kind of important. <laughs> I would have seen that on my way, you know, directly straight up, you know, and I'd shoot here, and I'd be like, oh no, I missed the shard, because I would be pooped over to the next area, and I wouldn't be able to go back down here, yeah. Anything behind? I can't tell. No, okay. I just wanted to make sure, because as I said, I can't see all the edges of the screen due to the slight screen cut cut off, and by the way, I, I never uh, showed you that before, you can boop enemies like that, and it'll sometimes stun them or kill them or something like that, because your jump, like, when you jump under an enemy like that, it's actually a type of attack, I never showed that before, so I thought that might come in handy if you'd like to save yourself in certain cases like that. Ah, uh, Ninja Star, you're not that powerful, but you sure are fun. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell where you're... Uh, I mean, how your projectiles are timed, because you can't actually see them. But I guess that's sort of the um, appeal, or uh, not appeal, the uh, gimmick of the uh, ninja power. Ninja star, shuriken, exploding thing, you get what I'm saying here. These platforms expand and contract, if you can't tell. And I thought... Well, I'm sure there's another crystal shard coming up, but I thought it was in the clouds, like above me. 
unless I'm thinking of something else, which I could be. I always confuse myself by memorizing stuff that is actually from other levels. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, it's like, I, I remember stuff, but sometimes I remember stuff for the wrong level. <laughs> oh, okay, this is where the last crystal shard is, in the pink cloud world. Uh, you can actually go back and forth between these two, by the way. And, yeah, you got these hopping enemies popping out of the clouds. No big deal, though, because they just go right over you if you just run forward. <laughs> it's a trap. Don't fall for it. Oh, wait. These are the ones that are traps. This one isn't. <laughs> My bad. So whenever you see... Oh, nope, I was a little bit too close. <laughs> Anyone under here? No? Okay. Please don't hurt me. I am just a gentle pink puff that is overpowered. <laughs> I'm really... I'm really gentle if you were to get to know me. Ugh. Ah! Oh, well, there goes my power. Well, that wasn't that useful anyway. I guess I'll swap. I mean, as long as I kind of have to. <laughs> Man. Oh. I didn't see you up there. <laughs> I was looking down, but I wasn't looking up. Curse you. Curse you. <laughs> um, hmm. I, I really hope I didn't miss a shard. Oh, oh no, I didn't. Uh-oh. It's in here, and I forgot a power, didn't I? Yeah, that's uh, needle plus spark. So I guess I'm gonna have to play through this level one more time. No big deal. It's not a hard level. And card. Oh. Okay, I'll see you back over at that shard. Yeah. Oh yeah, these blue enemies that try to eat you. Those. They're called Maw. And here we are. This is not a good power, but I'm gonna destroy that block right away. This this power, it's it's like uh, Pikachu's Thunder from Super Smash Brothers, but it's really hard to use in a like a level per level sense, so to speak. Like it's not all that practical since it only shoots upwards. And yeah, I got the Imakuni Pokemon Trainer card. Wait, what? Anyway, let's go to the next level! This isn't the factory level that I'm thinking of, that's really, really tricky. But it's coming soon, oh, it's coming soon. And it is not a good one. <laughs> well, okay, it's a good level, but I mean, it's it's rather annoying in the way that you have to get shards. You'll see when I get there, I'll, I'll be doing that in the next part, not this one. And I'm going to show you why this power is not a very practical power as I go through here. There's a shard somewhere on one of these um, platforms off to the side. I, I would say catwalks, but you you can't walk in the background, so, <laughs> so it doesn't really make much sense to call them a catwalk, even though they kind of are. Uh, just, they're just basically surfaces if you were in the 3D world, so to speak. <laughs> I know there's a shard somewhere around in here. Come on, you can't fool me. <laughs> and I will find that. I know there's one here. And there it is. I knew it was around here somewhere. And oh man, Gordo, you are really terribly in the way. <laughs> I guess the when you use this power on treadmills, it works kind of well, because if, if you press the button before you get near an enemy, you kind of slide into it. And yeah, we are in some sort of toy box-like dealio, it's kind of interesting. Uh, these give you the cutter ability, by the way. I don't think you need any specific abilities in this level, actually. Then again, I said that about the last one. <laughs> I'm just switching powers just for the fun of it. I just figured it'd be a little more useful. And beware of frogs! They will gobble you up! Hey, eh. get... gone. Ah, whatever. 
Who cares? I can just jump right over their holes or go underneath them, whatever. Ooh. Okay, just want to make sure that I show everything around. How did that happen? <laughs> How? Did... Well, I would just like to show everything around these areas because there's a lot of detail in this level, as you can tell. Being a toy box level, you can see a lot of stuff in the background, and you can't really see on the ceilings though, which is kind of too bad. But a lot of the um, obstacles here remind me of uh, one of the desert stages. Or, uh, I should say, like, a, the desert stage is in review, so they shouldn't give you too much issue, though. They're, well, things are a little bit tighter. Here's some shotzos just shooting stuff at you in the background, and it's great. <laughs> and transition to a boss! Oh, man, this is going to be extremely difficult. <laughs> we got that, the boss just right in the center. Well, okay, he falls down other sides. I suppose, but he doesn't go all the way to the ground, and that's kind of his weakness, because he can't touch you. And then we got the bows above your head, and they're just they're just hanging there, not doing anything. Probably don't have the easiest bosses in the game, actually. Come back, kill him off, there we go. And you get a shard for your quote-unquote trouble. <laughs> by trouble, I mean no trouble whatsoever. There we go. I didn't want to get hit by the enemy, so I would just... Playing it cautious there. Okay, watch what she paints here. Remember those, and I think the order. Uh oh. It's wait. What would be? What would the color of the first one be? Actually, I'm kind of unsure. Is that a peach? <laughs> peach, melon, and orange? Maybe. So I'm just gonna... Yeah, you gotta match the color of the fruit, basically. So... Peach... I'm guessing this would be the melon color, and then... Please? No! Oh, boy. <laughs> Can I redo that? I'd be happy if I could redo that. Maybe that's supposed to be like a chestnut or something. I'm honestly not sure what that one is. Okay, I'm gonna try... Oh, it does reset. Okay, so... Let's try that, that. Yes, that is correct. So I guess that was some sort of chestnut. That's one of the awkward fruit that you... I mean, not fruit, the awkward shapes that you can get or things that you can get. It's the garden, I suppose, in the toy box of sorts. I don't... It's, it's kind of... <laughs> out of place in terms of the rest, but I guess since it's like a dollhouse of sorts, look out for these, they fall. That first one, though, is just like a warning of sorts. Just, just like, tell you that something is going to fall. I don't care. I can see it dangling. There we go. I was gonna say, when are you gonna fall? Fall already. And now, the aquarium! This is one very, very high-tech dollhouse, I have to say. But it is still extremely beautiful. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, I got all sentimental there over a type of dollhouse, but it is a very neat looking dollhouse, I have to say. Now we're in the factory portion of the dollhouse. Look out for enemies ambushing you in the nuts. And I don't really think there are anything inside the nuts. Uh, that could be taken various ways. But I, what I mean is, you know, crystal shards. <laughs> oh, shoot. I forgot you were there. I remember the other ones, but I failed there. Now, the entertainment room. And, oh, pfft, great. Oh, I might as well get some strawberry shortcake. I wouldn't think that all this food would be going bad, you know, if it was just, like, out in the open like that. And, you know, I should not bother with those poles. I should just go around them if I can. Oh, come on. Because I'm, I'm, like, you can switch sides on these poles, like so, but you're better off just going around them, unless you're trying to speedrun the area or something like that. Oh boy! Shotso attack! You got these walls to protect you from them. 
but it's really no big deal, although they do aim for where you're going, so they're fairly intelligent, actually, so you gotta watch out for that. Just watch the cannonballs in the background, and don't go near the cannonballs. Just very, very simple, basic gaming 101. I mean, well, that would even work in real life, too. I, mean, I don't think you would want to go by a cannonball that is being shot, or at least I wouldn't. That's just a pro tip for you. You can use that wall in midair, but it's so awkward, I don't know why you would want to. Uh, wait a second. Is this open on its own? Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I, I didn't think I forgot anything. Wait a second, did I... miss a shard somewhere? Because I thought I only got two there. Oh no, I got all three, huh? Well then, I guess I miscounted somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm gonna end off this part then. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.